Hello everyone, it's Doris Colgate with Steve Colgate up on the balcony overlooking the dock with our dockside chats with Steve. And this little episode is about uh, someone that Steve ran into at a meeting and it, it, it centers around wine. Yes, I was, um, uh, for about 10 years, I was the president of the International Sailing Schools Association. But I was also on the training and development committee of ISAF, which is the International Sailing Federation. And they had, they had decided they were gonna have their winter meeting in Singapore. And I thought, well, we'll have our, 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 our meeting in Singapore too, uh, the International Sailing Schools Association meeting. So that was the reason I was there. And I had, uh, you know, a long days, and uh, and the, in the evening before dinner, I'd go to the bar, and uh, to have a, a little rum and coke, <laughs> and, um, and sitting at the bar was this other fellow, and he said, you know, uh, you're Steve Colgate, and I said yes. He said, well, uh, I was an instructor for you uh, in Martha's Vineyard about 30 years ago. Uh, this meeting was, I think, in late 90s, and and it, it was in the 70s, maybe 20 years ago, uh, that he had been in Martha's Vineyard. Um, and it was being run then by a fellow named Chris Angel, a very nice uh, guy, a uh, good, good instructor who became a, a, uh, uh, a principal in a, in a private school. Uh, and, uh, and they met every Sunday uh, to introduce each other to what, uh, who was going to be taught. And so Chris told this fellow, he said, uh, or all of them, uh, I guess there were three instructors there, um, is that, does anyone speak French? And uh, this fellow said, yes, I, I have some French. He said, okay, you're going to, uh, it's uh, uh, Philippe Rothschild's grandson is down here. Philippe Rothschild is, is down here with his grandson, and his grandson's taking the course. So you'll uh, you'll be teaching him. Well, as the week drew on, and the grandson started talking about it, he, evidently Robert Mondavi of, uh, of uh, wine fame in, in California um, was also visiting, and these two titans of wine, Philippe Rothschild and Robert Mondavi, were working on a new new wine. And they were having trouble finding a name for it. And uh, this grandson said, oh, they were kidding around. They said, they, well, we'll call it Phil and Bob's Red Lightning or something like that. And uh, so uh, this fellow sort of stashed that away in his memory. And it turns out that he teaches for us in the summertime, but in the wintertime, he runs a large wine uh, store in Boston. And they had, a, um, a, a presentation with Philippe Rothschild uh, coming over for their new wine, uh, Mon Mondavi's uh, and Roth uh, Philippe's uh, Rothschild's new, new wine was called uh, Opus One. So they were rep they were having a, a big thing for uh, the uh, Opus One uh, start. And they had a reception line. And our instructor walked along the reception line. When he got to Philippe Rothschild, he said he couldn't, he couldn't give up. He couldn't give up. He said, uh, how is Bob and, Philippe, Bob and Philippe's, Phil and Bob's Red Lightning going? And, <laughs> and the reaction was so amazing, he said. Uh, it, it was a great uh, time for him. So that's, he, you know, we do an awful lot for uh, the lifestyles of our of our, uh, pro our 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 clients, our our students in our courses, and it turns out that we also do a lot for our instructors. Thank you very much.